Welcome back to Hannah's Harvest. Today in the kitchen, we're working on a re drumming recipe called Summer Stir Fry. I love this recipe because it elevates my garden vegetables and I can throw anything in and it's delicious every time. It's quick and easy and I'm hoping to be done with dinner in 15 minutes. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. I'll link it in the description below if you'd like to try it out. I've started by making some rice to go with my stir fry and in the recipe, Ree makes it without rice or noodles or anything, but for an entire meal, I like to serve it with rice and some egg rolls on the side. So now that my rice is cooking, we'll get started with chopping and cooking up our vegetables and hopefully it'll come together quickly. I'm going to start by turning my pan on medium heat and adding a scoop of dairy-free butter to saute my vegetables. Today I'm using Country Crocs Original Dairy-Free Butter. I find that adding a butter substitute gives me more flavor than just olive oil or something like that. And for a recipe this simple, I want that extra flavor. I'm gonna begin by chopping up my zucchini. This is called gray zucchini, and it's my first time growing it. On the seed pack, it said to harvest when they're about six inches long, and that even though they don't get very long, they're very prolific. So, so far, I'm pretty impressed with how it's doing. The zucchini need to be cooked the longest, so I'm going to throw them in first. Next, I'll chop up some peppers, and these are called Gypsy Sweet Peppers. And I've grown these for a couple of years now, and they're fairly prolific, and they're just a nice, small sweet pepper. Almost like a bell pepper, but they don't take as long um, to get to their mature size, which I like because they're ripe a lot earlier than bell peppers are. piece is fairly large because I want some texture in this stir fry. And the recipe does not call for peppers, but I like to throw in whatever summer vegetables I have ripe and ready. Next, I'm going to add a fairly large scoop of minced garlic. And then I'll chop up my cherry tomatoes. These are called the blueberries variety, which is an extremely prolific producer. And the berries have a nice, deep, rich flavor that I really enjoy. They work really well for eating raw or making salsa or throwing into recipes like this. For a garnish at the end, I've picked some lemon and Genovese basil, and I'm going to slice it up and I'll put it on the top. Wow, that lemon basil has a delicious lemon scent when it's chopped up that I haven't noticed very much when it's on the plant. I'm excited to taste that. The last veggie I'm adding is corn, and all I had was canned corn. I should mention, if you do not have, for example, homegrown zucchini or tomatoes, you could obviously do the same thing with vegetables from the store, but I'm always looking for delicious and new ways to use up my garden veggies, so that's why I like to use them in this recipe, and that's actually how I found this recipe. But Whatever you have will work fine. While the veggies are softened, I'll add some salt and pepper.
And while the veggies finish cooking, I'll quickly clean up my workspace. Leftover vegetable pieces to give to the chickens. They really appreciate that. The last ingredient I'm going to add is shrimp. And I'll cook these shrimp for just a couple minutes. And then our stir fry will be done. So the rice just finished cooking and we're only about 10 minutes into dinner. I told you it was quick and easy. Okay, our dinner is all ready and I'm going to start by plating up the rice. While the shrimp finished cooking, I did check the recipe and realized that I was supposed to cook the shrimp first, which does make more sense. So if you give this a try, you might want to start with your shrimp then set them to the side, then cook your vegetables. They'll cook a lot quicker that way, but the way I did it worked out just fine. I'm going to top with a little bit of my chopped up basil. And I do want to add a little bit of soy sauce and my favorite sauce, sweet chili sauce, to the top. And I will serve with egg rolls and dinner is done. Well, it seriously is that easy. It took me 15 minutes from start to finish to cook this delicious summer stir fry. I hope that you'll give it a try.